When I first started doing toy reviews and YouTube, I uh, discovered that Fisher Price Imagine X were some of my favorite toys that were out there. I mean, Fisher Price to this day uh, is my favorite toy company. Imagine X is such an amazing line of toys. They kind of right now they used to do all kinds of in-house stuff and that is my favorite things right now they kind of focus on batman every once in a while there'll be another property they do a lot of jurassic <laughs> world stuff i i like the dinosaurs so and they're they're kind of generic it's not just a, a movie I, I i do like the eclectic things they had blind bags i do have all of the blind bags I am minimizing my toy collection right now. I have to really choose what I like. Um, I don't even know if I'll be able to keep the stuff that I really, really love the most. However, I have acquired stuff. This is the newest Imaginex stuff that I have. The stuff that uh, I think means the most to me. The stuff that I would keep. Um, the, the very l last thing that I, I want to keep in my toy collection, the stuff that would be so important to me, just because it encompasses everything, I will, um, let's just, let's just, let's talk through it. Okay, so when I did start out doing uh, Imagine X toy reviews for YouTube, uh, and they had blind bags, and I was reviewing everything, especially, again, the in-house stuff that they would make, one of the blind bags was this guy, which... Um, and it even says 2H on his shorts. So, I don't know. The, some of the Imagine X people said that they think that, I mean, it really does look like me. So, I think that is, uh, that is really cool. And so, of course, it uh, will go down in history as, as, as my action figure. And it's awesome. And, I mean, my favorite toy company made me an action figure me and i can put myself in all of these different worlds so what is not cool about that okay a good story i don't know i don't know i don't know how to start with this stuff one of the the latest brands imaginex has just gotten into a generic set which is i think they had some pirate stuff that they revamped was it pirates I can't remember for Kohl's a lot of the stuff we don't get in the States a lot of the stuff it's it's very big in Mexico actually so I'll imagine that I'll show you he-man in a second but this is one of the first lines in a long long time that was just a generic in in-house brand so they made monkeys versus gorillas I think is what this is let me put on my glasses so I can look at this stuff set better now I didn't get any of the large sets but I got the three smallest sets because they are just so cool and okay so I got this pack which wasn't available in Canada for a while but when it showed up on Amazon and you can also find this at Toys R Us in Canada too. And then this one is amazing. They always would make things out of wood grain. And come on, check out this monkey catapult thing. And we got this monkey in there. And I guess this one would be the ape set for the other side. And then they had a character pack. So there's also a play set and there's a giant ape. And there's some, um, they made an extra large version, an XL monkey. I don't know if that's available here in the States or in Canada. And then they have this multi-pack of figures, which it went on sale. Check out your Amazon. It might be on sale for a very good price right now. I bought mine, um, I waited for a sale. But I mean, this, this is stuff that I can put in a little box and keep separate and really, really appreciate. I'm segueing into this little box of my favorites. They have in their blind bag series and other series too, they have played homage to classic Mattel brands. Fisher Price is owned by Mattel. So there's a lot of that. And this is a Fisher Price adventure people. One of the first toys I played with as a kid from the seventies, these toys were made and they remade some of them. And uh, these are just some of the ones that I've collected as homage to those great classic Fisher Price toy sets. So I do keep those together. I put my uh, 
too hunky figure in there wherever I just put him down and lost him. I guess I'll find him. I'll find him later. He's around here somewhere. And then there, I don't know, there was this really cool, oh, this was one of the very first reviews that I did. There was this dinosaur set. It's it's behind everything. I, I do have it up here. I like to use them as ride-on. These dinosaurs can be used as ride-ons for even my uh, Masters of the Universe action figures, my real Masters of the Universe action figures. So I do like to mix and match my Mattel brands. These giant dinosaurs. So this is my box of my favorite figures that I keep together. Uh, there's, these guys have translucent stuff on. Oh, and here's another one of the figures. Oh, should we, should we now segue into, into this set? So the 20th anniversary was one, one or two, one or two years ago, and this collection did not come to Canada. And I had to I had to get this stuff on eBay or I don't know some some second part I believe it was eBay and then also these cars which I just acquired recently because I needed to get now I probably have cars similar to this because there is this rescue hero crossover which will oh, I'm all over the place I don't know what I don't know what thing to show you first anyway 20th anniversary stuff I think it was 20th anniversary I don't think it it says anywhere on here this stuff is for the 20th anniversary the original Imaginex sets used to come in little boxes like this with velcro tabs so I think that's why they made these little boxes to, to play homage to it I don't think it says on here anyway uh, because pirates were one of the first things that they did I think that's where they went with it they made two pirates and I would have loved to have a double set of this I think it might be too late for me to get another set of these but there's a set of six so they had two pirates and they had two knights which is a common reoccurring theme in the Imaginex world at least it was in uh, the beginning or the earlier years or when I at the heyday of when I was collecting it so that's really cool do I ever wish I had doubles of these to open but I can't I can't open these ones and then here's the here's the clencher the the two ones that are robots but they're also an homage to Fisher Price adventure people because both of these things were available, both of these figures were available then, and they've redecoed them a little different than the ones that I've collected separately from the blind bags. Now I also have a full blind bag collection of both DC, which uh, in Mexico has just released a brand new, like years later, it's like, it might be five or 10 years after they stopped making the blind bags for these, these things. They started putting them out in boxes but they just released series eight like i said somewhere between five and ten years later after the last series of dc i would prefer again the in-house stuff not the dc ones but i have collected all of them to date i don't know if they're going to come from there or from mexico or what brings me to this extra large when they announced that they were making extra large in he-man it gave me such hope that they would masters of the universe is my favorite toy line of all time and i did like masters of the universe um uh, growing up as a kid because it it was a development of the fisher price toys that i played with it's pretty much this masters of the universe were so bright and colorful and hunky and chunky that's why i like toys they were the they were the epitome they were the progression for me from going from little people which you might have seen some of my little people videos too because that is where the in-house stuff has gone uh so i do collect a lot of little people because they are adorable they have manifested into this extra cute bright colorful Full, chunky hunky cute figure but these they only they made a beast man a he-man and a skeletor i think i know where i can get a skeletor i wanted to wait until i got this my friend andy sent me this from europe i'm sure it came from mexico to europe back here to me to canada anyway it ended up in my hands i don't know how it happened i don't know where to get the other ones i think i need to get them because this is this is like a holy grail for me it ties together all of the things all of the toys everything about toys 
comes together in one universe. It's a really cool theme. They have his hair swooped to one side. The 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 art on it is amazing. Imagine X. It's extra large. Yeah, I mean this is this is an incredible piece to have. If I can only have one, I guess He Man is definitely the best one to have. But I I kind of do want to get my hands on Skeletor and Beast Man, and hopefully it's not too late. Maybe maybe we still have a chance, even though I think it would have been done by now that they would have made Masters of the Universe in Imagine Next form. I mean, we're still waiting for a movie. Who knows what will happen after a Masters of the Universe movie comes out? There's a new series actually premiering today, I believe, uh, on Netflix. So definitely watch your Masters of the Universe on Netflix. There's a couple series. There's three series actually on there right now. You want to look at this. Okay, this is a newer, a newer series. I bought the medium sets. I uh, have stopped myself from buying the larger sets. I do have a lot of large sets, big giant play sets in totes. Some that I haven't opened because they're just too big to play with. I kind of always want to steal the figures out of the sets of the larger sets, but I have been selling um, the more valuable ones. There's still some stuff that hasn't sold. Uh, this this series was another in-house thing, a shark series, so incredible. So I didn't buy the largest sets, but I did buy the character packs. I'll always buy the character packs and uh, maybe the medium-sized stuff. Like I bought these medium-sized ones and the, the monkey medium-sized stuff. So that's 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 what I'm drawn to. I do have those around here somewhere too because I do anticipate opening up these these are so cool i loved collecting those character packs what else do we have to talk about okay during the 20th anniversary which was it's probably two or three years ago now which i was starting to freak out over not getting these now one of the things you might know about watching my channel is that i do enjoy toys that aren't painted very much and a lot of toy collectors like adult toy collectors get upset when they don't paint on the details but i like when the molds of the the different colors and the different parts of the body are molded in different plastic so there's less paint and it just it looks like a a prototype or yeah i just i don't know i love it and i do have um some of these things in as released in different styles before but i had to have these anniversary simple kind of look like prototypes kind of they're just more generic but they are they did this rescue hero series now i do have all of the rescue rescue series and there is a rescue series connection okay so i'm going to show you all of these and we'll get to the rescue hero hero series so Besides all of this stuff, I have boxes and boxes of different Maginext factions. So some of them are movies, some of them are like there was Toy Story, and then there's Space, and there's oh we'll get to the we'll get to the space set soon. That space set is awesome. Uh, and there's um, pirates, and there's and I have been tr trying to get rid of the bigger sets. It's really hard, especially in Canada, to sell the large sets on eBay because Canada postage is horrible. So I am struggling with eBay and selling things. I have to mark the stuff down really, really far. But then in the end, uh, the people who buy them from me have to pay $100 postage to get this large a ship and I have to sell it for like $40 maybe $20 sometimes because I have to get rid of the stuff I do contemplate sometimes just ripping the characters out and then taking it to a thrift store and just donating it and that's what I might have to do for the the few sets that I have left over actually I've been doing pretty good recently I guess because I've been lowering the price so much that I'm not making any money but the customer has to pay all of the money on shipping Fisher Price Adventure People to Fisher Price Rescue Heroes is what it shifted into. And you might have collected Fisher Price Rescue Heroes. They revamped Fisher Price Rescue Heroes in, let me put my glasses back on again, in 20, uh, 2019. So, and check out this. Do you notice? Do you notice something about this figure? It is, see how the hands and the shapes are formed? It is just a giant, where did I put? I can't believe I lost. 
I lost the two hunky. I don't know what I did with him. He's around. He, he's fallen in a box somewhere. But it is just a giant version. I love that they did that. Uh, the original Rescue Heroes of the uh, um, 1990s, uh, early 2000s, they did not look like this. So when they revamped them, they made them in the style as large Imagine X figures. I love these. There was a second wave of these. Did not come to Canada. Did not come on Can Canadian Amazon. I was so upset. This is one from the second series. Oh, here you can see it here. I, I don't know what I'm gonna. Do. You can't. You just. You can't get that stuff anymore. Uh, I don't know. Luckily, this this showed up in an off price. At least I have something to be mem memorial about this. But I have reviewed and opened all of the. For, this is all second wave. I don't have any of these things. I have this. This came to Amazon Canada, and then none of the. Um, I think this might be from the first wave. But all of these figures. I mean, they're they're just giant Imagine X figures. I mean, they're not. Excel Imagine X figures like He Man and these dinosaurs that I like to collect. And then I like to use these ones as ride on beasts for Masters of the Universe. So, I mean, this is something that I should not be collecting. These are actually just remolds of baby dinosaurs. You can check out those reviews. That's some of my favorite things to collect. The Jurassic World Baby Dino Blind Bags. I made sure that I collected all of those series. I've probably, my recent video, yeah, my recent video has the whole collection displayed for you to see because I have managed to collect them all. Um, there's somebody who wants to trade online that I saw in one of the Facebook places. I should probably hunt down another set of the latest baby dinosaurs because they're new. And I think Canada was the first place to get them. I don't think they're available anywhere, but they are available at Walmart in Canada. And I did see them refreshed a few times. So I better snag, snap up a, a set of them and trade them for the Imaginext DC Superhero Blind Bag Series 8. Anyway, so I have collected these. I should, this is an example of something it's called extra large. That should be assigned to me. I'm trying to get rid of everything and really downsize. And probably this a little box this size should be all that I'm allowed to collect. I think in the end this would be this would be the box of ones that I would want to collect the most. Oh, here he is. He should be he should be prominently placed somewhere. So, but they're still. It's just the design of them. They're just and they're they're not done in the same way that they're done in the baby dinosaur. So they enlarged, extra large the baby dinosaurs. I see on Walmart Canada that they have a recolor of this one, which I um, I haven't seen in stores or anything or available for buying. But I'm not, I'm I'm in this deep so far, and I think that I've. I've gotten every extra large dinosaur, and since I can't get the extra large Masters of the Universe figures, the, the crossover, the Holy Grail, wherever wherever He Man went, is this thing. Okay, now here's some more of these 20th anniversary little cheap sets. I just love these. We will have to compare these in an upcoming video where I haul out my Rescue Heroes collection. I might have actually had the whole collection. I even have the large play sets. I think I have everything. Uh, yeah, I have to pull out that, those boxes and take a look at what's available. It kind of fell under the city category, but they kind of transformed it into the Rescue Hero collection. Now, oh, I don't know what to show you. I don't know what to show you this first. Okay. Um, okay, I'll show you these later because they're so unimportant, but they're also very important. Okay, so there's this complete space set. Now, this space set I just found at a thrift store, and it is from. Oh, I gotta put my, I gotta put my glasses and grab this box. So I was gonna save. I was gonna save it for this video for the um, upcoming Imagine X reviews that I want to do and my latest Imagine X collection video because they had this box and it was all taped up and it was all smashed up and I didn't know if the if it was new or what it was priced at three dollars and fifty cents three forty nine and I was like. Uh, 
but the figure was in the little package here and it was brand new it was you could see that the figure was untouched so i didn't know if what was in this smashed up box was going to be in good shape or anything and when i got it home i opened it up i looked inside and lo and behold it was pristine brand new not taken at the package it was just the box was smashed up and taped up and and the instructions everything was inside it is crystal clear brand new with the two figures i do have some did i tell you the date already i'm, I'm curious i do have some sets this was before my toy collecting i remember when this stuff came out i guess i didn't tell you the date because i can't find it right now this is from 20 oh no of course when i'm looking I'm not going to find it. We can't take up time. Anyway, it was before I started collecting toys. Oh, 2011. Oh, yeah. I think it was around 2012, 2013 that I started doing toy reviews. 2014. Well, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know when exactly it was. We'll have to, we'll have to look into that. Anyway, this stuff was before, but there were some off-price store or actually toy warehouses i did find some of the i do have i know i have at least two sets from this series and i also had thrifted this before i probably paid three dollars for this at a thrift store and this is in pretty good shape and uh, it, it has minimum well i don't know if it has any scuffs on it it was done in the right way the way that i like a toy to be designed where each piece of plastic minimum paint so nothing can get scratched and yeah no it was in really good shape but it didn't have any of the accessories and um, i loved it i loved it just to put my all of my blind bag figures could stand on it or i could take pictures with them on it or i could play with it put them inside but to be able to find the whole new brand new set with with the figures that go with it in there oh this is amazing oh it reminds me i, I brought this and I, I had thrifted this at one point oh this was also three dollars and fifty cents this is what imaginex looked like when i think when it first came out um so this is what what is this from so i definitely don't like the way these figures look it's from 20 oh i'm not going to be able to find oh 20, 20 no that's not a date um 2004 so 2004 wait if it was the 20 yeah i guess i think i think I'm, I'm, my guess is imagine it started in the year 2000 or 2001 if i am remembering correctly and that is when the anniversary was and that's when we had the 20th anniversary which would make sense or maybe it was 21 to 22 anywhere somewhere between tw the year 2000 the year 2002 and so this was one of the earlier pieces you can see that the figures have not been developed yet that is not cool i would sell this for sure this does you can see that there's some cool stuff in here the designs got so much better than this more hunky and chunky and fatter and brighter and colorful and that's what i like in a toy anyway this set has so many possibilities for me to use my like, existing space figures with it and plus i can use my Oh. Oh, oh I don't want to that's how that's how this is this is how this is how they get smashed up okay plus you know my favorite Fisher Price adventure people remakes they go perfectly with it so I mean th this is the ultimate play set for me it's not too big I can put I can put myself in this land it's so good and plus i have other i'm looking forward to seeing what other space sets i have also it comes with this thing which you can wear on your head look at i'll see this this space creature and you can wear it as a head i don't know if i think my head's too big for it but they used to make in the beginning before the blind bags they used to make all of the heads round like this so that they all could and they would paint on the hair or whatever it had but yeah there's some really cool heads i'm looking forward to seeing 
what's happening. I think this series actually might have been the first time that, oh, see, this is what a head is. But they started stylizing the heads, I think, in this series. And they this, uh, this series was very stylized. The dinosaurs were very stylized. Go back and watch that review. Oh my goodness. I'm shirtless. And the, the video quality is so bad. And I think I edited it so much. I'm like, this video has no editing. We've uh, progressed and not progressed so far. Uh, but uh, this is an, I did a couple, I think I did maybe part three of this or four. It had, it had many parts because you can rip all of the stuff apart, put it together as a giant dinosaur, a giant robot dinosaur. Plus you have also all of the other dinosaurs. Amazing. Imaginix is amazing. Oh, and, and last but not least, this was really weird for me to buy, but these packs, okay, in Canada, I would say these packs run around uh, 10 to $15, depending on where you're getting. I don't think you're getting them anymore for $10. You're probably paying 15, yeah. I would, I guess that these, pa the, two, the character packs would sell for 15. So these were at off price stores uh, for $3 each. So my logic is, and it was at Christmas time, and I was I was buying them. So I, and it's the whole collection of them, and they are spacey. And I mean, it's a coincidence because I found this afterwards. I mean, they're perfect for this set. I've not even seen the Buzz Lightyear movie. I just know that I love Imaginex figures, and I don't have to think of them as Buzz Lightyear or a brand. And I would ju I just they're Imaginex and they're awesome and I know that they're not worth anything so for me just to open these and play with them and look at them and uh, just you know bask in their glory and uh, I can sell some of the older things maybe that I have that are worth money because that's what I've been doing I have to weigh out what's worth more money what do I want to keep these are just fun to play with so I feel guilty about I should not be buying more toys I'm trying to get rid of stuff but the reasoning behind this is they're kind of disposable and also they're really awesome figures and I love space and dinosaurs and pirates and I mean all of construction workers it's like it's it's boy toys it's hunky chunky cute tough it encompasses. That's why I love Imaginex so much. That's why I love Fisher Price so much. That's why I love Mattel so much. They really, the designs are perfect. It's it's a toy, and uh, I, I I I had to do this overview. Now I'm just expect openings of these videos. I am so excited. I've been so excited for months. I've had this stuff. I can't believe I haven't opened the Monkeys versus the Ape series yet. I don't even know what it's called. That's also something. I never put the names of these things. Oh, I say that right now. Boss Level Army Pack. Well, this is called Boss Level Army Pack, but it could have something to do with the fact that they try to keep it international. So they don't call... I think it's called Ape versus Monkey. You can see that the, the three factions that they're focusing on right now is Batman, Jurassic World, and Monkey vs. Ape. They're amazing. I mean, this mask, this mask is a reissue, I think, that's been... Oh, so... Okay. I can't, I can't, I can't even, I can't decide. Another re... I can't... I can't decide which to open first. Let me know in the comments below which uh, which faction you would like me to open to look at more. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.